Assalamualaikum and good evening. My name is Nushakiri Binti Nizar and I'm going to present about the introduction of my group members, objective of presentation and problem statement, also the technical findings. Now, I will introduce my group members. Dance! Our consultation company are the Petronas Twin Tower. The objective of this presentation are to understand the possessibility of 316L to know the relationship between microstructure and mechanical performance. Lastly, to know the advantages and limitations of forming process. We can state the problem statement in order to upgrade the performance of 316L stainless steel. Two options has been proposed which are normal 316L stainless steel and cold roll 316L stainless steel. In technical findings, for hot forming, the recommended for most hot working process are about 1700 to 2200 Farad or 927 to 1204 in Celsius. The material should be annealed at 1900 Farad or 1038 Celsius minimum and rapidly cooled by other after hot working. For cold foaming, the alloy is quite ductile and forms easily and the cold working will increase the strength and hardness of the alloy and might leave slightly magnetic. Now I will show you the stress strain curve of the hot cold roll and the cold roll. Assalamualaikum and salam shatter. My name is Nur Aina Jawa binti Mas'ad and I will be doing task 2 for relationship between microstructure and giving out conclusions for our case study. The original one has a large grain size, has austenitic stainless steel face structure that consists of ferret and also austenite and has a low dislocation density. For the cold roll version, it has a small grain size and appearance of strain in ferret which will result to partial mountain site transformation and has a high dislocation density. In order to increase mechanical performance, we can increase structural or substructural strengthening and also reduce the grain size to nanometer in the course of severe plastic deformation. This will cause significant increase in yield strength and result to ultimate tensile strength. In a nutshell, as a group of metallurgical engineer in a consultant company, we are responsible to know the difference in mechanical properties and know the relationship of defects present in the material based on crystalline structure of the sample. Based on our discussion, we could conclude that cold rolling process is greater than hot rolling process, even though each of them has their own advantages and also disadvantages. Here are the comparison of original and cold roll steel. As we can see here, there are advantages and disadvantages from both elements. So that is all from me, Nur Aina Jawa Binti Masaad. Thank you for your time and Assalamualaikum.